Talks with President Donald Trump winning the Nobel Peace Prize have become more than wishful thinking after a historic meeting between South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korean dictator, dictator Kim Jong-un. The president has yet to meet with Kim Jong-un and himself, and there is no concrete sign that the recent peace, treaty, peace, peace negotiations will actually lead to peace. Skeptics are worried that North Korea will go back on their promises. However, the Korean summit left the rest of the world very hopeful. As the leaders of North Korea and South Korea met, North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un was invited to cross into South Korea over the line that has divided the Koreas for decades. President Moon Jae-in then returned the courtesy by crossing over into North, Korea, North Korean territory in a symbolic, unscript, unscripted moment. There were no specific details or timetables provided, but the Korean leaders did set bold goals for achieving a complete denuclearization and peace in the Korean Peninsula after more than a half a century of hostilities between the countries. The two countries fought in the Korean War, which ended without a peace treaty. The new agreements could finally end the tense situation which has affected Southeast Asia for decades. On Wednesday, Danish inventor Peter Madsen, who built his own personal submarine invention, was found culpable for killing and mutilating the body of Swedish reporter Kim Wa during a private submarine trip. Annette Burko, the Copain City Court judge, along with two anonymous jurors, came to the conclusion that Wa's death was a murder. Madsen also faces sexual assault charges and defamation of a corpse. The trial began on March 8. During the trial, Madsen denied murdering her, claiming that Wa died by accident in his submarine. However, his story seems to change several times. At first, he told authorities that he abandoned her on the shore and did not know what happened to her. That changed to a story that she hit her, hit her head with a submarine's hatch. But after her body was found, there were no signs of fracturing her skull. Finally, Madsen admitted to dismembering Wall's body and dropping parts into the Baltic Sea. The Journal of High Energy posthumously published a research paper co-authored by the late theoretical physicist Stephen Hawking. The research paper focused on the potential existence of parallel universes and was published on, April, on Friday, April 27th. This is the first of three research papers to be printed after Hawking's death. The paper itself is an attempt by Hawking and his co-author Thomas Herdog to create a simpler theory of the multiverse. Currently competing multiverse theories state that there are an infinite amount of universes, each with its own set of laws of physics. However, Herdog and Hawking tried to prove that the Big Bang created only universes with fundamental similarities. Co-author Herdock talked about working with Hawking who had ALS. Though communicating became quite difficult, Hawking never showed any signs of quitting on a project that he was really fond of. Hawking died at age 76 on March 14 in his home in Cambridge, England. His ashes are expected to be interred at Westminster Abbey close to the grave of physicist Sir Isaac Newton during this year's Thanksgiving service. More than half of the House of Re Republicans have nominated President Donald Trump for the 2019 Nobel Peace Prize for his efforts in bringing North and South Korea together for talks. Recently, the two countries who fought in the Korean War that ended with no peace treaty declared they would work towards denuclearizing and peace. Republicans in support of President Trump have notified the Norway Nobel Committee explaining why the president should be honored. If President Trump becomes a recipient he would be the second president to be granted the Nobel Peace Prize after former President Barack Obama. A group of people with ocular melanoma, a rare type of eye cancer, has concerned epidemiologists and researchers. Currently, the odds of getting ocular melanoma is 6 in 1 million people. More than 50 people in two locations, Huntersville, North Carolina and Auburn, Alabama, were diagnosed. 38 of these people attended Auburn University between 1983 and 2001, and at least four people have died from the disease. The first person in Auburn to contract the cancer was Julie Green in 1999. She had surgery to remove her left thigh in 2000 and has been cancer-free ever since. Symptoms of this cancer include blurry vision and vision loss, though symptoms may not always show immediately. Hackers in China were fined $5 million for developing hacks to help them cheat in players' unknown battlegrounds. 
PUBG is one of the top grossing games this year and has made over 700 million via PC sales. 15 people have been caught hacking PUBG software which found its way to mobile phones this year, increasing its audience. Five people have been arrested for various crimes including hosting marketplaces for hack programs, brokering transactions, and developing hack programs. Other suspects are still being investigated. Several states are suing the Environmental Protection Agency over the agency's decision to rule car emission rules. The EPA has proposed several options to President Donald Trump's administration and the state of California moved to block the change and a move that was followed by 16 other states and the District of Columbia. EPA Administrator Scott Pruitt believes that the strict rules for car emissions and gas efficiencies have hurt car makers. California was given special provisions through the Clean Air Act, which was the state to the ability to create its own of set of standards. California standards are already the strictest in the country, but Pruitt said the state shouldn't dictate what the standards should be for the rest of the country. Governor Jerry Brown believes the EPA has violated the Clean Air Act and hopes to stop the EPA's actions. A list of 49 questions were leaked Monday, April 30th. These were the questions that were given to President Donald Trump ahead of potential interview with in the presidential election. Most of the questions have to do with the campaign's potential collusion with Russia and an investigation into whether the president obstructed justice. Trump commandment the leak of the questions and claimed that the questions proved that there was no collusion. He also argued that there, were, there was no obstruction of justice as one could not obstruct justice for a crime that never happened. A former aide to Mueller has stated that it is highly unlikely that the questions leaked from Mueller's office. It is more likely that these questions were notes compiled from a memo given to the White House by a special counsel, which were then leaked by a White House staffer. The leak of the question has caused many of Trump's supporters, including Shan Hannity, to advise Trump refuse to meet with Mueller. There is still no clear indication that, that a meeting has been set up and is unclear. The United States. On Tuesday, April 26, Bill Cosby was convicted of sexual assault in which he drugged and molested Andrea Constant, a Temple University employee, at his home in 2004. Cosby's case was the first major celebrity sexual assault trial after the Me Too movement gained momentum. His conviction came 11 months after a mistrial was declared in the original trial when a jury failed to reach a verdict. After 11 months, Judge Stephen T. O'Neill did not set a sentence date for Cosby's three counts of felonies that are each punishable with years in prison. Cosby will be out of, on bail and confined to his house arrest. Rose McGowan, one of the women who accused Harvey Weinstein, tweeted her appreciation of Judge O'Neill and the jury. The lawyer for many of Cosby's victims stated the decision was an important breakthrough. A jury member told the media that Cosby's own words ultimately swayed the jury to reach a guilty verdict. Harrison Schneider, 22, was referring to previous testimonies where Cosby admitted to giving drugs to women in order to have sex. On Tuesday, May 1st, Yale University's Board of Trustees voted to revoke Bill Cosby's honorary degree. Yale came to the decision after Cosby was convicted of drugging and raping Andrea Constant at his home in 2004. Yale had stated they are committed to eliminating sexual misconduct, and this is the first time the university has revoked an honorary degree in its 300 years. Yale is not the only college or university to revoke honorary awards and degrees from the actor. After his trial, Carnage Mellon University and Notre Dame repealed his honorary awards given to him in 2007 and 1990. Prior to his conviction, Fordham, Brown, and the University of Pennsylvania also revoked degrees. Temple University, where Cosby graduated from and was a board member for 32 years, also revoked his degree on April 27th. Glenn Jacobs, also known as the Big Red Monster Kane from World Wrestling Entertainment, the WWE has been named the winner of the primary to run for mayor in Knox County, Tennessee. The primary elections were held and Jacobs won by 17 votes. As mayor, Jacob promises lower taxes, education, and job creation. During his campaign, Jacobs had to change his wrestling character because he was known as a devil's son and was considered one of the scariest WWE superstars. Jacob received 14,633 votes, while runner-up Brad Anders received 14,616 Bob Thomas only had 11,296 and will likely finish in third place of the GOP elections. 
Senator John McCain announced his retirement at the end of his current term. The Republican Senator of Arizona decided he wanted the freedom to express his ideas about how really he views America's political atmosphere. Last July, after the blood clot procedure, McCain declared that he was diagnosed with stage 4 terminal brain cancer. In an expert in his upcoming book, McCain wrote, This is my last term. If I hadn't admitted that my, to myself before this summer, a stage 4 cancer diagnosed as an ungentle pers persuasion. On October 25, 2017, at the press conference about the National Defense Authorization Act in Washington, McCain said that he feels that he was the responsibility to give Americans his best judgment. McCain also criticized the president for acting like a despot. The Kalua volcano in Hawaii has been releasing lava into the air as high as 300 feet, with new fissures opening up. Lava has already destroyed 26 homes and five of the structures since the eruption. Locals say that there are no signs of the lava slowing down. Cracks at the tip of the volcano and smoke appeared before a magnitude 6.9 earthquake. A total of 10 Pfizer's have since opened up and satellites begin picking up footage of lava. Amazon has been delivering packages to customers' homes and now they want to do the same thing with their cars. Amazon has been testing a new way to deliver products in California and Washington State for the past six months. Amazon partnered with General Motors and Volvo. Amazon Prime owners who own a GM or a Volvo car made after 2015 can opt into the program which gives Amazon access to trunks. The vehicles must have an activated OnStar or Volvo on-call account. To, to access a new delivery ser service, customers will need to add details of their vehicle in the Amazon Key app along with the description of their car so the vehicle can be located by the courier. Amazon believes this is a safer way of delivery due to the amount of packages being stolen. Aaron Trewick, a biotech CEO who was researching and developing treatment for a disease, died on Sunday, April 29th. Trewick, who made headlines after injecting himself with an untested herpes treatment in hope of, of finding a cure for the disease, also made news for injecting himself with an untested HIV treatment in 2017. Trewick was found dead floating face down in Washington in a sensory deprivation tank filled with salt water. Golden State Warriors fans were relieved to see their team bypass the rivals in San Antonio Spurs and they did it without their star point guard Steph Curry. In Game 2 of the Western Conference semifinals between the Warriors and the Pelicans, the Pelicans showed up to Oracle to play. And to the relief of many fans, so did two-time MVP Steph Curry. Curry missed 16 games since his grade 2 MLC sprain, which happened on March 23rd. The veteran came off the bench limited to 27 minutes of playing time. Curry came into the game with four, sec four minutes and 20 seconds left in the first quarter. It took him only 11 seconds to shoot his first shot, which was a nothing but net three. Curry put up 12 points in the first half and five of 10 shooting and was the f team's leading scorer going into halftime. He finished eight of 15 from the field and seven of seven from the foul line. The Warriors took the win over the Pickelikins, 121 to 116, and Kevin Durant led all scorers with 29 points, 11 of 23 shooting, along with six rebounds and seven assists. Anthony Davis came through with 25 points and 15 rebounds to lead all scorers from the Pelicans. Game 3 will be in New Orleans on Friday night. What's luckier than having a son make it to the NBA? How about winning a big on a popular game show called The Price is Right? Patrick Beverly's mother, Lisa Beverly, won a new car on the show, but she wasn't done. Minutes later, she won a $1,000 prize when the big wheel landed on the $100 spot. She then went on to win a second car in the showcase. She left the game show with $41,000 in prizes. Patrick Beverly reacted to her winnings on Twitter. Beverly's son, however, did not have a successful 2017-18 season, playing only 11 games with the Los Angeles Clippers due to the microfracture injury on his right knee in November. Hopefully, his mom's success means good for things coming for him next season. On Wednesday, May 2nd, Rocco Montella was arrested for purposely kicking two swans at Orlando's Lake Eola. Multiple witnesses reported they had seen Mantella kicking the swans in the head while they were sleeping or trying to run away. Mantella kicked the swans so hard they were knocked out. A witness stated that once Mantella noticed she had been watching him, he began to laugh. Unfortunately, Orlando police were unable to find the injured swans. Mantella is now being banned from Lake Eola and is being charged with animal cruelty with a bond of $1,000. David Goodall, an 104-year-old scientist, is on his way to Switzerland where he plans to end his life. 
Goodall told the news that he sh regrets to live in an extremely old age. Goodall left Australia to Life Circle Clinic in Basel, Switzerland with a nurse from an organization called Exit International, which is an organization that specializes in assisted suicide. David, a botanist and ecologist, was born in April of 1914, only moments before World War I. He has already attempted to take his own life. GoFundMe page in Goodall's name has raised over $20,000 to help him travel to Europe. Seven states in the United States, as well as several countries, have formed of assisted suicide. The president of Exit International, Philip Nixi, said that Goodall will stay in France for a few days until he flies to Switzerland to end his life on May 10th. A woman from Texas won $1.2 million after predicting five of the winners in the Kentucky Derby. The unnamed woman bet $18 on five different races, including the Kentucky Derby race. After one of the horse named Justified crossed the line in first place, the woman collected her winnings at Retama Park. A spokesperson for Retama Park said it's extremely rare for someone to win that much money on such a little bet. On Tuesday afternoon, DJ Academics leaked seven of the ten double XL freshmen for 2018 class. Every year, media outlet Double XL magazine lists up an upcoming rapper sometimes to controversy. This year's list has already sparked some debate. Rapper Lil Skies wasn't among the name included and the rapper from Pennsylvania tweeted about being snubbed and explained that actual he snubbed the magazine who offered to put him on the cover. Lil Skies claims that the fan voting for the freshman issue is rigged because he was asked to be part of the freshman class before the vote even began. Sky now joins a long list of successful rappers that have turned down the freshman cover which has become an actual trend. Various rappers who have turned down the cover have actually gone to have successful careers. Here's something for your professional Call of Duty enthusiast. One of the most iconic squads in professional gaming has been taken apart by trades and new signings after three successful years together. Seth Skump Abner, Eon Cryptic Porter, Damon Karma Barlow, and Matthew Formal Piper form the elite squad known as Optic. But since winning the World Championship last year, Optic Gaming have been in a downward spiral. There were personal problems between team members. This team placed second at the CWL Pro League Stage 1 playoffs, where they were beaten by FaZe in a match that was in Optic's favor. That only made matters worse. A top 16 placing at CWL Seattle was a straw that broke the camel's back. Piper was traded for Sam Octane Laru La from Luminosity Gaming. Damon Karma Barlow was released and Anthony Method Zini was picked up from Team Caliber. Hopefully, this trade can make Optic a championship team again. Kim Kardashian has been asking President Donald Trump to forgive a great-grandmother who is currently serving a life sentence after she was convicted of being involved in a multi-million dollar drug ring. Alice Marie Johnson, who is 62 years old, was found guilty of a drug conspiracy and money laundering in 1997. Johnson became pregnant when she was 15 years of age. She got divorced in 1989 and became addicted to gambling. A year later, her son was killed while riding a scooter. She became involved in drug dealing with a cocaine organization from Memphis, Tennessee. Kardashians believe the sentence is unfair and has spoken to the White House about pardoning Johnson. Johnson has kept herself busy in prison while writing plays. A Utah teenager named Kiza Dom became the subject of controversy after she posted pictures of herself in prom dress, which many acclaimed was culture appropriation. Dom appeared on Fox and Friends and explained how she was instantly drawn to a traditional Chinese dress at a vintage shop. She decided to buy it because it was unique, but people on social media have called out Dom for using traditional dresses for improper occasion. Dom said she had never had any, any bad intentions and she was not mocking Chinese culture, but wearing her wearing the dress and posing in a photo group where her hands were clasped. Dawn says she was appreciating the Chinese culture. She also said that her school had no issue with the dress and she received support from friends and teachers. The South China Morning Post mentioned that she had supported from users in mainland China. Dawn says she had no plans to apologize and she said she would wear the dress again. Cynthia Marie Randolph, a 25-year-old mother in Texas, was sentenced to 20 years in prison on May 1st after being convicted of two counts of reckless injury to a child. Randolph watched TV and smoked marijuana in her living room as both her kids died locked inside of a 2010 Honda Cross Tour. The mother told investigators that the kids vanished from the sunroom. She searched for her 2-year-old daughter, Juliet Ramirez, and her 
month's son, Kavanaugh Ramirez, when she found them dead and locked inside the car. Ultimately, Cynthia confessed that she actually found her kids in the car while they were alive, but she left them there because the kids were playing and wouldn't get out of the car. She assumed the older child would unlock the door and come out with the other child. When she woke up from her nap, she found they had both died due to heat inside the car. Two inmates from the Salinas Valley State Prison in Soledad, California have been captured after escaping on Sunday, May 6, 2018. Richard Almanza, 23, and Jonathan Demenio, 35, were reported missing around 8.55 a.m. early morning, Monday morning. Almanza and Demenio were arrested in a hotel in Sacramento where they were taken into custody. The escapees have been transported back to the, to the prison. Almanza is serving a sentence for four years and eight months for burglary, and Demenio is serving three years for a separate burglary. Both were eligible for parole next year, and both men may face new charges and a longer sentence for the escape. A Morgan Hill officer accidentally fired his gun and hit a 14-year-old girl. Police Chief David Swing said that the officers were handling a high-risk traffic stop involving a stolen van that the girl was riding in. The van was stopped and the driver led police on the car chase and ended up spinning the vehicle out and hitting a fire hydrant. Two girls executed the vehicle and were ordered by officers to lay on the ground where one of the officers' serviced weapon fired. One of the girls was hit with a bullet fragment near her eye. The injured girl was transported to Lucille Packard Children's Hospital in Palo Alto where the fragment was removed by doctors. She is back home and recovering. The police officer has been placed on administrative leave while the Morgan Hill Police and Santa Clara County District Attorney Office investigate the incident. On Thursday, May 3rd, varsity softball played and won against Anzar with a score of 13 to 5. Here are some highlights. Well, I do blink with. I mean, <laughs> wink with. <laughs> so, who closes the door after the bus driver gets off the bus? This joke you know by heart. Uh, my life. <laughs> what does water taste like? <laughs> what? <laughs> who closes the door after the bus driver gets off? The bus driver? But he's already off. If nothing ever sticks to Teflon, then how does te Teflon stick to a pan? What's Teflon? Who closes the door on the bus? The air compression. What were you doing in that room? Oh, what room? <laughs> don't, don't lie to us, we know what you're doing in there. What does water taste like? What does water taste like? Tastes like nope. What water tastes like? Can you wink? Can you raise an eyebrow? This one? No. What does water taste like? <laughs> That's the awkward. Oh! Hello? I don't know. Who closes the door on the bus? Um, why are you asking these questions? I'm like, I'm here. <laughs> Is it like a. Never mind. What flavor does it have? Like, just like water, like a little saliva taste, water taste. I don't know. What time does the bell ring? Get the. <laughs> 12, uh, 1 something? One Why are you leaving? I was interviewing you. What color is water? Huh? What color is water? Clear? What does it taste like? What does it taste like nothing? <laughs> so it has no flavor? Uh, no. Don't. Uh, hey, what does water taste like? Like water. Don't do that. Too. What flavor is water? Stop. 
Jonathan, you better not be recording. Close, Close the bus? Like the bus With a button or like a little lever? And the bus driver pulls it off. Yeah. But like, when the bus driver gets off, how does he close it? <laughs> That's a good question. Ah, <laughs> oh, look, the loner has friends now. Come out. Como leche, dude? Yeah. yeah. What's, what's the flavor of leche? I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> Why does it have a color? Why not? It's clear. But what happens with blue water? Because of the sky. But you said it's clear, bro. That's why the sky is blue, so that's why it makes it. But the water is down, so it'd be brown, no? <laughs> I don't know, bro. Can you taste water? Yes. What does it taste like? Wet air. Repeat? Wet air. <laughs> Wet air? Yeah. That's the flavor? Yeah, there's tap water, there's a sink water, there's like, I don't know, every water just tastes different. Isn't tap and sink the same thing? Oh so, yeah, it is. Like, well, like, I wasn't really going to like ask you questions. You see, my friend over there, he wanted some of you guys to snap, but he didn't want to come, so. So if, if he comes, he'll, he'll get it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Joba, man. He came for your snap, but like he's shy, so yeah. <laughs> Stop acting, bro. You know you wanted her snap. She's gonna give you your snap. <laughs> what? The? I don't even have Snapchat. What is the? <laughs> what eye do you wink with? Uh, with my right. Can you wink? For what? For the camera. I guess. Um. <laughs> do I have to do it? I, I don't know. What eye do you mean? The left, my right eye. <laughs> 